welcome to Polish with Ray. I'm Rachel and today I'm going to be sharing with you the newest collection from Bluebird Lacquer called Spring Chickens. Before we get started, if you love seeing me review Bluebird Lacquer here on my channel, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do. That way you don't miss out on upcoming nail polish releases. So the Spring Chickens collection is a five-piece collection of gorgeous holographic polishes. It's going to release on April 22nd. Although Bluebird Lacquer does close their site intermittently to fulfill orders, this collection should be here to stay for quite a while. Down below, I will link all of Bluebird Lacquer's social media, including their super active Facebook group, Bluebirds of a Feather. If you're not already part of that group, I highly recommend joining. It's a super active, really fun group, and there Lucy, the maker, posts all of her upcoming events, and you can get the inside scoop on what's new with Bluebird. All right, we're going to take a look at these five gorgeous polishes. Let's go ahead and get into the swatches. So we're going to take a look at this collection in rainbow order. I know what you're saying. Pink is not the first color of the rainbow, but in my opinion, pink is the red of springtime. <laughs> so this first shade is called Cluck My Life. Yes, Bluebird coming through with the hilarious names as always. And it's described as being a metallic raspberry shattered holographic with a gold halo. Each polish in this collection will retail for $9 individually. Yeah, $9, and that is for a 15 milliliter bottle. That's Bluebird's standard size. First of all, before we even get into the beautiful polish, $9 for an indie polish. Wow. <laughs> um, Bluebird has my heart already with their gorgeous formulas and packaging, but you really can't beat that price. Like I can't tell you the last time I paid $9 for a polish. So on application, Cluck My Life had a beautiful formula. Bluebird has a wonderful paddle brush, which made application super easy. On the first coat, we could see quite a bit of nail line, but this one built up really well. On that second coat, I think some people might be okay leaving this in two coats, but personally, I did feel like I wanted a third, and in three coats, I did reach full opacity. I agree with the description that this has kind of a metallic-y, soft, pastel pink base, but that hollow just adds so much sparkle, and we do see a shimmer running throughout this polish. Um, you'll see in just a second, it kind of shifts to a beautiful gold shade. So here's what it looks like built up in three coats with a glossy top coat and some indoor lighting and then here is what it looks like same coats same top coat in the sunlight outside as you can see we get all of that gorgeous metallic pink glow at certain angles but then when you move your hand around with this one you get that shift to gold and it kind of looks like a peachy coral shade at certain angles too mixed in there with the pink it's absolutely gorgeous and later in the video you will be able to see the shattered hollow in full effect it's fantastic so pictured are three coats of Cluck My Life with a glossy top coat. And I did want to throw in a few comparisons in this video. So on the left here, we see Cluck My Life. And on the right, we see Learn the Bird Nacular, which came out in last year's spring collection from Bluebird. This will actually, this whole collection will be on the site available as well this month. But as you can see, they are very, very different. Um, Learn the Bird Nacular does not have a shifting shimmer. It's just pure pink shattered holographic, whereas Cluck My Life has that gorgeous gold shift. It's kind of a softer, more metallic pink, both so, so beautiful. All right, next we're gonna take a look at the gorgeous yellow. This shade is called Chick Flick and it's described as being a lemon yellow shattered hollow with an orange green halo. Instantly out of the box, uh, this was my favorite. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you now. I do say my top picks at the end of the video, but I just can't hold back on this shade. It just wowed me from the minute I saw it. The base color is so unique, and because of that gorgeous shimmer that shifts orange to green, Sometimes the base looks kind of chartreuse-y. Sometimes it looks like a very warm, bright, sunshiny yellow. It's a really transformative shade and the shimmer is so bold and beautiful. Plus, I just love, love yellow polish. 
And seeing one that is so unique to my collection just made me happy. On application, this had a fantastic formula. It applied very similarly to Cluck My Life. I found that in three coats, I got the best opacity. I did think I could have left it at two coats, but I could see a little bit of nail line if I was looking for it. Plus, I felt like that third coat really helped it reach that full coverage and allowed that shimmer to shine. How gorgeous is that? So here is what Chick Flick looks like built up in three coats with a glossy top coat. You can see here in the bright studio lighting that we get a lot of that gorgeous orange shimmer, but you'll see in the sunshine that we get a lovely shift to green too. So here's what that looks like, three coats and a glossy top coat. Wow. <laughs> the sparkle in the shattered hollow finish is just insane. If you haven't tried this finish from Bluebird before, you definitely need to get your hands on it. I've yet to meet anyone who doesn't absolutely love it. Um, I've heard some people ask the difference between Shattered Hollow and Scattered Hollow. So Scattered Hollow is like flakes. Shattered Hollow is just this intense hollow explosion on the nails. Um, it's what Bluebird Lacquer specifically calls their Shattered Hollow formula. Here are three coats of Chick Flick with a glossy top coat. <laughs> um, and it just kind of gives it like almost the kind of sparkle you would get from a glitter polish, but without the difficult of removal. So here on the left, we see this is Hawkward <laughs> from last year's spring collection, another shattered hollow. And then on the left is Chick Flick, the one we just looked at. As you can see, Chick Flick and This Is Hawkward have a pretty close base color. I would say that This Is Hawkward is slightly darker. And with that shimmer, Chick Flick sometimes seems a little bit more like of a golden yellow and sometimes more of a chartreuse yellow, depending on the lighting and angle and the way the shimmer is hitting it. Again, both gorgeous and both will be available this month on the site. Up next, we have a gorgeous green. This one's called Breast Friends Forever, like chicken breast, get it? Uh -uh. And it's described as being a metallic mint green shattered holographic. Another one that just took my breath away. As soon as I saw it, you all know that it's not the greens I usually gravitate towards, although honestly, recently it has been. This one is fabulous. Between the gorgeous green we get in the base and then all of that incredible shimmer, it's stunning, completely stunning. On application, I felt like Breast Friends Forever was one of the more opaque polishes in this collection. Honestly, with thicker coats, they may all potentially be able to be two coaters, but this one, I swatched it several times. I put it on several times and every single time. It was fully opaque in two coats. If you've got longer nails, there's a chance you'll need three, but I think two coats will suit most people. And as you can see, it's just a gorgeous, soft, springy mint green. And we get kind of a gorgeous, brighter green shimmer along with all of that shattered holographic. <laughs> So here is what it looks like built up in those two coats with the glossy top coat. As you can see, we have an incredible amount of opacity. And in the lower lighting, we kind of see a more silvery minty base with, or sorry, in bright lighting, silvery minty base, bright, gorgeous green shimmer. And as you move your nails around, I will say, I don't think was in the description, but I also see shifts to like a pinky purple at certain angles as well. Here's what it looks like in two coats in some natural lighting outdoors. And I got super lucky while swatching this one. As you can see, the sun was in full effect, which means we get to see all of those incredible rainbows. Now you can see why the Shattered Hollow formula from Bluebird is so loved. Gorgeous. <laughs> Pictured our two coats of Breast Friends Forever with a glossy top coat. So for our next comparisons, I actually compared three. On the far left is Two Can Play This Game, which came from last year's spring collection. Again, this one will be available on the site. In the center is Breast Friends Forever. And on the far right, I thought some of you might request to see February's PPU shade. I'm so over Jordan Catalano. So as you can see, the 
Toucan play this game. Sorry, I'm trying to keep up with the names. Um, is just a solid mint green. The Breast Friends Forever has that added green to kind of pinky purple shimmer. And then I'm so over Jordan Catalano kind of has like a silverier base with a strong bluish purple to green shifting shimmer. So all three different and beautiful. <laughs> Our next shade is called Cooped Up, and it's described as being a muted gray-blue shattered holographic with a purple glow. So this one was really intriguing to me because it kind of reminded me a little bit of like a blue version of I'm So Over Jordan Catalano. Like the description says, it has like a muted grayish base, but depending on the lighting that you get with the shimmer. Sometimes it looks more blue. Sometimes it looks more gray. It's a super unique shade. And I love the contrast between the more muted base and the bright, bold, blue, purple shimmer. Oh, and side note, other things that will be available on the site when these release are going to be, like I said, the Early Bird collection from last spring, the Fall Feathered Friends collection, the April Bird of the Month polish, the Polish and Dreams Vegas Overpours, as well as a bunch of new seasonal bath and body sets. So on application, Cooped Up reminded me a lot of the pink and yellow from this collection. It was a little bit sheer but built up to full opacity for me in three coats. This may also be one that with thicker coats, you may be able to get to full opacity in two coats. I just felt like that third coat added some more richness to the base color. So beautiful. It's like a light wash denim base. Gorgeous. So here is what three coats of Cooped Up looks like with a glossy top coat in my studio lighting. Indoors, I found it really interesting. I thought this polish kind of looked like it had a gray base that just leaned blue, but once you get it into bright lighting, into sunlight, the blue just totally takes over the polish. Look at that. And this again, full sun, you're seeing all of the amazingness that these shattered ha hollows have to offer here. <sighs> just fantastic. And again, that shimmer shifts from like a blue to like a kind of purpley shade. Another one so unique and just completely fantastic. So here are three coats of Cooped Up with a glossy top coat. And here I have to compare um, some other polishes. On the far left is I'm So Over Jordan Catalano again. Since I have that blue shift and kind of grayish base, I wanted to show those together. And the center is cooped up. And then on the far right is simply the nest from the Early Birds Spring Collection last year. So as you can see, the shimmer in Cooped Up leans a lot more purple than in any of the others. Simply the nest doesn't have a shifting shimmer. It's just straight up bright blue shattered hollow. And then I'm So Over Jordan Catalano has more of a green to purpley shift and less of that indigo shift that we see in Cooped Up. And the final polish in this collection is called Foul Play, and it's described as being a metallic light pink shattered holographic with a peach gold halo. So I'm actually surprised to read the description for this one. I was trying to place my finger on the colors I see in this one because honestly it's a lot between the base and all of those shifts we see in the shimmer. I wasn't quite sure. I had kind of thought it would be like a white gold base, maybe like a champagne, but now that I'm reading the description, I definitely see that pink lean in there. And then we get so many shifts, green to gold to like a gorgeous peachy coppery shade. This one is super shifty. On the nail, I felt like Foul Play was the most opaque polish in this collection. I reached full opacity in two coats, no problem with this one. And like I said, just kind of depending on the shift and the shimmer, sometimes the base of this looks more white gold, sometimes it looks pink, sometimes it even looks silver. It's very, very shifty. So here is what Foul Play looks like built up in two coats with a glossy top coat. In the indoor studio lighting, we get a beautiful peachy gold shift, but you'll see once we take this outdoors that we can also see a incredible shift and incredible shift to green and even maybe like blue at certain angles. 
these in the sun. <laughs> I just can't get enough. They are so sparkly, you all. It is beautiful. Um, and you're seeing all of those described shifts. Just wonderful. This entire collection, spoiler, I was super pleased and I probably will always be super pleased with every collection Bluebird releases, especially if it's Shattered Hollows. I'm a fan. Pictured are two coats of foul play with a glossy top coat. So this one I decided to compare to a few polishes here. On the far left, we see Chloride the Lightning, which came out in April's PPU. In the center, we see Foul Play. And then on the far right, we see I'm so over Jordan Catalano. <laughs> I just, I felt like these comparisons would be requested, so I wanted to show them. So all of them kind of have that soft, light, silvery, pinky leaning base, although I feel like the base of I'm so over Jordan Catalano and Chloride the Lightning is a little bit cooler than Foul Play, but the shifts you can see are completely different. Um, Foul Play has a shift from orange to copper to peach to green at extreme angles. I'm so over Jordan Catalano is mostly green to purple to blue. And then Chloride the Lightning is mostly gold to green. So wouldn't these make a fabulous Skittle? I think so. <laughs> All right, so that is the Spring Chickens collection from Bluebird Lacquer. Let me know down in the comments what you're thinking of grabbing. What are you just completely in love with? Final thoughts, as a whole, I was completely in love with this collection, if you couldn't already tell. <laughs> I just feel like these five polishes work so well together. It's a very cohesive collection, and any holographic finish from Bluebird Lacquer, I'm in. <laughs> Linear, scattered, shattered, I don't care. I want all of it. But if I had to pick favorites from this collection, I mean, it's kind of hard when there are five polishes and they're all so beautiful, but these would be, I guess, my biggest standouts. I really loved Cluck My Life, the name, but also the polish. It's just a gorgeous soft pink, and sometimes spring polishes can get kind of, you know, predictable. This one is such a fun, fresh take on a gorgeous soft pink. I also really, really liked Cooped Up, the blue glow in here. Oh my gosh. And the way that it popped against the other blue in this polish, it's just, you get glowy blue from every angle. So gorgeous. But I think my absolute favorite from this collection was Chick Flick. I love a good yellow, and I feel like we're seeing so many in different collections this year, and I'm all about it. But this kind of like chartreuse -y, greeny yellow base with the green to copper shimmer, oh my gosh. This one is super unique and just so fun. Let me know in the comments which of these do you think you're grabbing or are you getting all of them? And in case you're in the mood to see some more beautiful polishes be swatched, you should check out my recent videos. Last week I live swatched and reviewed the newest collection from Wildflower Lacquer called The Classics. I also went live last week to share all of the polishes that are on my spring rack this season. And I recently did another live stream sharing a bunch of polishes that will be available in April's Hella Handmade Creation Shop, including Bluebird Lacquer's contribution. I'll leave all of those videos linked down in the description box so you can check them out. I hope this video was helpful for you in deciding what you want to grab. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!